The Kansas City Chiefs are no longer in B and after losing to the Bills, but they didn't seem much bothered by that uh, that least of excuse me get this all together at least about quarterback Patrick Mahomes the Chiefs won their first nine games but were hardly dominant along the way seven of those victories by one score and four were not settled until the game's final play Mahomes called the loss fuel for the rest of the Chiefs season the Chiefs have been overtaken by the Lions the Super Bowl favorites Detroit is plus 375 to win the Super Bowl while Kansas City is plus 450. The Chiefs had been favored every day of the season. All right. Stephen A., who do you trust more to win the Super Bowl, Detroit or Kansas City? I'm going to say Detroit at this particular moment in time. Um, they haven't done it yet. They haven't even been to a Super Bowl yet. We understand that. But with what I'm seeing from Dan Campbell, the coach, from what I'm seeing, you know, from their collection of talent on the defensive side of the ball, they lose Hutchinson, but they've still been handling their business. On the offensive side of the ball, I mean, it wasn't until Jared Goff threw those five interceptions last week in one game, which we all know is an aberration. That doesn't happen often to anybody, let alone somebody of his play, of his caliber. But nevertheless, you look at every position. They got dual threats at the wide receiver spot, at the running back spot. You got Laporte at the tight end spot. And Jared Goff was playing lights out before last week. And even after throwing five interceptions, they still managed to beat the Houston Texans. I just look at what they have. I'm looking at Aaron Glenn co coaching this defense. And I'm just saying to myself, this looks like a special, special crew. And I have no problem if somebody's out there looking at it right now and saying the Detroit Lions are going to win the Super Bowl championship. I'm not there yet in terms of definitively saying that with chest out and all that. But I got to tell you. I think they got a chance. I think they're the number one team in the National Football League. I think right now they look better than everybody else. And just as an aside, y'all, um, it says it's about 11.06 right now. I'm still waiting after Jacksonville got their ass kicked by the Detroit Lions yesterday in that fashion. I'm still waiting. I, I predict that at probably around 1 o'clock or so, Doug Peterson will probably lose his job as head coach of Jacksonville after that whipping that he received at the hands of the Lions yesterday. That's just me. <laughs> yeah, listen, man, for me, it's the Lions. And, and, uh, you know, people always go back to, well, you know, with Patrick Mahomes, he's, you know, he's won, you know, back-to-back -back Super Bowls and all the, all the things that Patrick Mahomes has done in the postseason. I'm talking about the here and now. With the way the Detroit Lions are playing football right now, they are firing on all cylinders. And they can beat you however way you want, however way you want it. You, you want to run the ball? Great. They got the best off the line. They got the best dual backfield in the league. You want Jerry Goss to sling it all over the field? Great. He can do that. Even if he throws five interceptions, the dude's still sling the ball out there on the field. They're one of their best players go there. Aiden Hutchinson goes down. Defense still balling. And it's all because they take on the identity of their head coach, Dan Campbell. What Dan Campbell and company have done in Detroit is they have assembled a, a roster, a team of guys that all have one collective mindset. They can go in any environment. Any environment. This is not a dome team in Detroit. Mm -hmm. This is a team that can go, they can go play out in Green Bay. They can go play in, in the Heat in Miami. It doesn't matter which way you want them to play. They can go out there and do it. And I think a big part of why I say this, remember last year in the, in the NFC Championship game, they had the 49ers dead to rights. Obviously, the 49ers came back Have to win that ropes. game. Okay? They had, they had them on the ropes in that game. And so what tends to happen is, you know what? You come back the next, the next year, Okay, your offensive coordinator comes back because he wants to, he wants to uh, finish business. He wants to finish the deal and try to win a Super Bowl in Detroit. Those guys are playing with a mission just off of that game last year. Okay, and you see the, the veracity and the style in which the Detroit Lions are playing. Right now, when I look at the Kansas City Chiefs, they're walking a tightrope. Okay, and they, and they fell off the tightrope this past weekend against the Buffalo Bills. I see too many flaws, particularly on offense, with the Kansas City Chiefs, even with the great Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid at the helm. Right now, I got to go with the Detroit Lions. Well, I, make, I might as well make it a clean sweep. Guys, did y'all realize yesterday, Stephen A., Detroit went touchdown, 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 field goal, kneel down. They had about seven straight possessions, seven touchdowns, a field goal, and a kneel down to end the game. And people say, well, uh, uh, Jacksonville's terrible. Jacksonville is not the worst team that's ever been assembled in the last 40 years. And that's what the Lions did. You're absolutely right. They can run it with Montgomery and Gibbs. They can throw it to St. Brown and Jamison Williams. They got a solid tight end in Laporta. You got Ragnar. You got Decker, who's out right now. Sewell. You got Zeitler. 
they're they're loaded offensively. They have no weakness. And I believe because the NFC is not as strong as the AFC this year, I believe it's easier for them to get there. With all that being said, man, they're 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 really good. And they're not resting. Dan Campbell started this thing from the bottom up again. Because a lot of times, uh, uh, Woody, you know this, Stephen A., is that when you get so close, you think that, you know what, we'll just pick right up where you left off. Dan Campbell said, uh-uh, no, 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 no. We're going to start down at the bottom, and we're going to climb and work our way back up. So that way, when we get there, we'll know exactly what to do this time as opposed to last time. This team is legit, very well coached, physical on both sides of the, the offensive line and defensive line. I love what I'm seeing. This is the best football team. Yeah. This is the best football team. They're very well coached. Aaron Glenn should get a head coaching job because he has this defense balling out.